You do know him, don't you? Yeah, that blank look is a dead giveaway. I don't want to talk about it. You're safe. You're, you're at General Hospital. Hey. hey. The lab's on Mount should be back soon. I know you're concerned. Oh, good. Yeah, I know. It's just it's weird. I look at him and I see myself and think of all the chances I've taken with racing and stuff, and that could be me. Just... Well, I have uh, something very special to take your mind off of that. Pre-delivery paperwork. Who are you? Um, I'm Dr. Robin Scorpio's mom. You might have seen me around here sometimes. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so you were hurt in a fire. Where? Where? Is that, 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 is that the clinic? Yeah. Nadine, Nadine was supposed to meet me there. She's okay. She, she's fine. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Robin's asked me to help. Um, we can't seem to track down any of your family. Don't bother. My mother's dead. And my father was never in the picture. You don't have to carry me. Oh, come on. You're suffering from, from smoke inhalation. I don't want you to get winded. You need to rest and recuperate. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be alive and that you pulled me out of that fire. Even though you insisted that I get Matt Hunter out first? Well, if you hadn't, he might have died. Yeah, but see, if, if, if you would have died, I would have never forgiven myself for leaving you behind, see? Well, I didn't. And I feel like I'm here under false pretenses. I mean, I don't mind resting for a couple of days, but I'm not really that hurt. No? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what, think of it this way. If you're here... Well, that means that you're not climbing through the police commissioner's window or following people around on the docks or getting yourself burnt to a crypt. See, see it's very therapeutic to me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, good. Thank you. How's the pain? I can deal. Has the uh, attendants spoken to you? What do you want? Has he told you about the extent of your injuries? Yeah, I'm in an ICU. I have head trauma, ten degree burns. My internal injuries from smoke inhalation. I can feel my legs, but I wish I could. Yeah, you're gonna need a skin graft. It's a little late in the game to be showing concern. Don't you think, Dad? here to make excuses. Just leave. Look, your mother and I reached a decision that I would provide child support and, and pay for some of your education. What was that? Hmm? What was that, like five thousand dollars? Because that, that probably didn't pay for two days of medical school. We made this agreement before you were even born. Like I said, I provide financial support on the condition that I never, I never make any contact with you. I more than kept my side of the bargain, believe me. Yeah. Okay. So then just go away. Just go. You didn't want me then. And I don't need you now. Look, you're badly injured and you need surgery. I can help you. I don't want to ever take damn thing from you. This is not the time to argue about this. Give me another doctor, would you? Look, you can be as angry as you want, but I'm still your father. 